G'day viewers, uh, this is how I test uh, a stator, I do a insulation test, they're only low voltage so I'm doing a 250 volt insulation test so I'll whack that on there, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, pretty good, I'll test it, oh yeah, yep, yeah. so it's earth to earth, stator winding, that's good, you can see the meter. Very good. And then uh, we switch it over here to do continuity. We know it's not leaking now, so the insulation is good. Should get about two or three ohms on this. What do we got? Two ohms. Yeah, about. Uh, it's a bit dodgy, probably dirty oil. It's looking good. That state is good. I'll rip that out and I'll put that in the bike tonight. So I've got to pull the stator out of this one. Um, I'll redo these these um, spade lug terminals. They're not very good. They don't give you much surface area for uh, power conduction. So you get hot spots, especially if they're not tight. So that's a big problem. I've got some nice uh, connectors. So I've got some Honda brass connectors that I'm using at the moment. Or I might uh, switch over to some gold-plated uh, high-current connectors. I think I'll use the Honda ones for now. Uh, they're cheap, they're easy, and they're just a crimp terminal, Molex-type crimp. And they basically waterproof if you put a bit of uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline, anything like that on them, just to keep the water out. Not on the plug themselves, not on the metal surfaces, but on the insulated uh, shrouds. So we'll have a look at that later, but uh, this state of tests out good. You see it's very quick to test them. So we'll rip that out of the, uh, this donor motor. I'm going to actually uh, rebuild this motor later. Uh, that'll be my uh, Hyasung experiment. <laughs> See how we go on that. But yeah, very easy, very quick to test them. Insulation test, continuity test, it's all looking good. Very important that the windings are not shorted to ground because if they're shorted to ground, that will play havoc with your CDI and your regulator. So that's one of the things when you overheat the stators, um, you burn the insulation off and if it's one of the coils next to the uh, laminations, that will short the ground and you'll be getting all sorts of uh, nasty spikes on your negative lead, which, like I said, will play havoc on your uh, CDI and regulator. But as you see, I just got a little... Um, electrical test instrument that's uh, it's called a analog insulation tester and it's also got continuity there low ohm scale you know, test down to about half an ohm accurately so it's all looking good so that's a short video just to show you what i'm up to and we'll continue uh, with the bike tonight cheers catch up on the next one